Welcome to a slightly warmer than last year Las Vegas for CES Media Day 1. After narrowly escaping the massive snow and ice storm that paralyzed Kansas City, I touched down yesterday, ready for a full week of tech excitement. Now there wasn't much happening during the day, so I spent most of the time catching up on work and exploring the city, but everything kicked off in the afternoon when I made my way all the way to the Mandalay Bay for CES Unveiled. So think of CES Unveiled as a mini CES preview, exclusively for folks in the media. Unveiled featured a diverse array of technologies, including AI-powered robots, some that even look like a Pixar fever dream, smart spoons that enhance the flavor of low-salt food from Kirin, smart EV chargers, and network-attached storage with built-in LLMs for local AI. Now, some of the items that stood out to me were Yarbo's showcase of their new upgraded Core Series. This multifunction outdoor robot features interchangeable tracks for either snow or grass, an upgraded snowblower attachment, a new 22-inch mower deck, and a powerful blower system. Plus, it now boasts a towing capacity of 3,500 pounds and can follow you around the yard towing tools or other supplies. Our good friends over at RingCon were showcasing the new version 2 Ring, which I've actually been testing for a few months now. Lutron now has a new easy-to-order smart shade that comes in roller or cellular style. These start out around $399. Olight was showcasing some of the latest flashlights and smart lights, including an ingenious automated battery recharger. Simply drop in your rechargeable batteries and it tests, recharge, and stores them. I also grabbed a sleek rechargeable clip-on light. Great for projects. I absolutely love their flashlights. Now over at the Momotion booth, they actually revealed two new robotic mowers, the Yuka and Luba Mini. These models are compact and budget-friendly, ideal for smaller yards. They also showed off the upgraded Luba 2 Pro, which we'll be taking a closer look at on Tuesday. One of the coolest booths was the Halliday Smart Glasses. These AI glasses featured a tiny display that can only be seen by the wearer. Usages would be for navigation, translation, or checking on battery levels or notifications. Think Google Glass, but completely invisible. They even have a smart ring that can be used for scrolling and interacting with a display. Now, Gobi was showcasing their updated products, including the collaboration with JBL for a battery-powered speaker and light, new pixel displays, and their mini block lights that can support up to 70 individual light blocks. Now, over at the SwitchBot booth, they had some interesting new products. The standout was their modular robot system. This is a modular cart that's actually powered by a SwitchBot mini vacuum that can carry air purifiers, fans, or even a small table. It can follow you around the house, purifying the air, or doubling as a mobile security camera. They also have their new upgraded S20 vacuum, which includes their new anti-tangle brush, their SwitchBot Lock Ultra, and their new SwitchBot video doorbell, which has a dedicated indoor display so you don't have to fumble for your phone to see who's at your door. Now, after the event, I had a chance to meet up with some fellow smart home influencers for dinner. Shout out to the fantastic team at Zoos for picking up the tab. Now, that's a wrap from CES Media Day 1. Which product caught your eye? Let me know down in the comments which you'd like me to explore further. I'll be meeting with my favorite brands and sharing even more exciting releases. This week is shaping up to be both amazing and exhausting. So make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for Media Day 2.